University of Cambridge examinations, IGCSC mathematics extended course. Uh, the diagram shows lines y equals 1, y equals x plus 4, and y equals 4 minus x. On the diagram, label a region R where y is greater or equal to 1, y is greater or equal to x plus 4, and y is less than or equal to 4 minus x. Uh, we've made a copy of the diagram underneath. Before we do anything, I think we should start just label some of the points that are quite important on that diagram. Um, first of all, we can see that uh, this is clearly y equals 1. So this point here is going to be equal to 1 there. Uh, also, we can see that these two lines here are the lines y equals x plus 4 and y equals 4 minus x. Um, if we take this point here, this is on the line y equals 4 minus x. If x is equal to 4, then y is equal to 0, which is the coordinate point of, the, of that point there. So this point here has a value of 4. And likewise, you can do the same with uh, y equals x plus 4. If x is minus 4, minus 4 plus 4, y equals 0. And that's clearly y equals 0. Y equals x minus 4. So we can label that minus 4 as well. At the top, uh, let's take this line, y equals x plus 4. We know that the 4 is the y-intercept. We've already been taught that. So this point here is 4, and it's clearly 4 also for this one, where y is equal to 4 minus x. Okay. Now we're going to look at the inequalities, and we're going to share the inequalities on this diagram here at the bottom. There are three inequalities, and so the region we're looking for is the region that contains uh, colouring or hatching from every inequality. So we'll start with uh, y is greater than or equal to 1. Well, this is the line y equals 1. So anything that's greater than or equal to it is going to be in the above region here. So y is greater than or equal to 1 is going to be in this region here. So I'm just going to colour this in yellow. That represents y is greater than or equal to 1. Just make a note of that. y is greater than or equal to 1. Now the next one we'll look at is y is greater than or equal to x plus 4. Well this is the line y equals x plus 4. So anything that's going to be greater than that is going to be on this side of the line. You think about what you need to do to pivot that to make it uh, y equal to 4, you'd have to, to tw twist it in this direction, turn it clockwise, so therefore everything above on the left hand side is going to be greater than, everything on the right hand side is going to be less than. We want it greater than, so y is greater than or equal to x plus 4 will be on this side. Now there's no point us shading anything that has not been shaded yellow, but we will put a green stripe on the area that says y is greater than or equal to 4. Finally, y is less than or equal to 4 minus x. Um, well, this is the line y equals 4 minus x. And so anything that is less than y equaling to 4 minus x is going to be underneath on this side. So we can start to shade that in. So 
y is less than or equal to 4 minus x will be in this region here. And again, we don't need to go any further than the yellow area. But we do need to continue over there. And this clearly will go on in that direction. OK, so what have we got? Um, well, we've got uh, this line here being equal to uh, so y is less than or equal to 4 minus x. And we have the other line over here, this one here which is y is greater than or equal to x plus 4. And so the region that we need to shade in or label R, as the question asks us to do, is clearly this region here because it's got yellow there, it's got blue stripes, and it's got the green stripes. It's the only one of the regions that have got every shading in that area. So we'll just shade this one over here the same. So this area is the one that we're going to call R. And we're quite confident that that's the truth and the answer is correct, although it's always better to test it. Now, th this is where the labelling of the particular coordinate points is useful. If we take a line, let's just call it, put that blue for a moment. If we take a line from there all the way up and across to there, that gives us the coordinate point minus 4, 4. And we can see clearly that that is in the shaded area. So that is the one that we're going to use to test to see if we've shaded the right area. If we have all of those three inequalities, will be true statements. So we've got coordinate minus 4, 4. And let's just see if it's true. Y is greater than or equal to 1. Well, this is the Y value 4. Well, 4 is greater than or equal to 1, so that one is a true statement. Next one, y is greater than or equal to x plus 4. Well, x is minus 4. If we add 4 to minus 4, we get 0. And therefore, y is greater than 0, so that one is also a true statement. Final one, y is less than or equal to 4 minus x. x is minus 4. 4 minus minus 4 is equal to 8. Therefore, y is less than 8. y is 4. 4 is less than 8. So that is a true statement. So the area that we've shaded and labeled R is, in fact, the correct area.